Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing well. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Izzy and welcome to my channel, please join us. And today we are doing such an exciting video, you have literally no idea. Apart from the fact you do, because you probably have seen in the title, which is why you've clicked on this video. I'm going to be dying all my clothes, chocolate brown. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is like I'm getting a whole new wardrobe, but for free, apart from the £6.99 diet. But you know what I'm saying? So yes, I'm basically going to be doing a wardrobe revamp. So I've seen a lot of people do this on TikTok, and honestly, I am so addicted to watching those videos. One of my friends has also done it and all her clothes look absolutely amazing. So I'm so excited to dye mine. So I'm just gonna be using the dye on Espresso Brown all-in-one fabric dye and I am so excited to do this. Okay, so the dye, it doesn't work on things that are darker than the color you're dyeing it. So like, I can't really dye anything black to brown, you know what I mean? It's only light things that will go to brown. And it doesn't work on like silky fabrics. So. I've got here a variety of things which I'm going to dye, which I literally don't wear at the moment, so I'm hoping once I've dyed them, I'll, I'll feel like I've got a whole new wardrobe. So, let's show you the things that I'm going to be dyeing. So, the first thing I'm actually going to be dyeing is this pair of charcoal grey flares, and they're just this ripped material. And I did just get a lot of wear out of these, however, I don't really like the colour anymore. This is quite dark though, so I don't know if it's going to go brown. I mean, we'll see, but I've also thought, once I've dyed them brown, I'm going to like put a slit in each one of the flares, like, you know, so it goes over the trainer, that kind of vibe. So I'm literally going to get like a new pair of flares for free, pretty much. I'm so excited. I've then just got this white cropped hoodie sweatshirt kind of thing, which I'm going to be dyeing. This will definitely work, I think. I'm just hoping, because I know on a lot of things that people have dyed, the threads stay white, obviously, because it's like a bit of like a silky material. Um, I'm hoping it dyes the threads because I don't really want like white threads to be shown all over the brown So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I think this looks so nice brown I've also just found this. I've literally don't think I've ever worn this in my life Um, but it's just like this like loungy Jumpsuit kind of thing like cinches in at the waist and then it's literally like full legs It's kind of like trackies and like a top tucked in I guess um, but yeah I've never worn this but I feel like maybe if I dye it brown I might I've then also got a pair of jeans and I do not wear these jeans whatsoever. I think I've worn them once in my life um, they don't really fit very well. I don't like the wash of them. And yeah, I thought I'd dye them anyway. I mean, I think these would look pretty sick brown and with a belt, if it actually looks good, then we've got a whole new outfit here, ladies. You know what I mean? Then I've just got loads of tops and body suits and things like that. So the first thing is just this Primark three pound one shoulder top that I don't think I've ever worn in my life. Cause that is literally my life story. I buy and order so many things and then I never wear them. Like it's ridiculous, it's absolutely ridiculous. But I feel like this brown would look very cute. I'm just brown obsessed at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like everyone and their dog is brown obsessed, but like I'm really brown obsessed. I've also got this asymmetrical crop top thing. I don't know, I've just found loads of tops. I just wanna dye them because I don't wear them, do you know what I mean? I've then got this white ribbed square neck crop top again. I don't wear this either, it's really big. I'm dying things that don't fit me. Like that's, it's not gonna make them fit me, is it? It's literally just gonna change the color of them. I don't really know where my thought process was going with this. It's fine, it might shrink them, you never know. I've also just got this skanky white crop top. Literally all of these are crop tops pretty much that I just don't wear. Um, I've got this bodysuit, which I'm absolutely obsessed with this bodysuit. However, it's a really like sheer material. So I thought, my logic was like, if it's darker, maybe it won't be so sheer. Do you know what I mean? Cause like a white bodysuit when it's sheer is so much more obvious than a black one. Also, sorry about the lighting by the way. I have got my ring light on, but like the sun's just decided to come out and it was literally gloomy about two minutes ago. So if it keeps changing, I'm really sorry, please just bear with me. But yeah, I think this one looks so cute. It's literally just this bodysuit. Then it's like got like a tie back and it is so cute. I absolutely love it. And then last up, I've just got this long sleeve top. I don't really know what it is. I'm not gonna lie. It's like flared arms kind of vibes. Basically, all the things I'm dyeing are things that I don't wear, don't fit, and don't really like. So maybe it'll get better, maybe it won't. We'll soon find out. So yeah, let's give it the washing machine. I've literally just soaked them through it. They're absolutely dripping wet, so maybe that won't make it work. But let's put this in. The magic is done. Okay, I'm gonna put this on for a wash now, and then I need to wash it again without the pod in there. And let's put the wash through again just to get rid of all the dye from there. So then once that's done and dry, Probably tomorrow, probably five seconds for you. I will show you what they all look like on. I'm so excited. Okay, I've dyed all my clothes. It's now the next day. I'm here to show you what they all look like. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I would love to say this is a roaring success. Some of them are. However, some of them are a bit of a fail. So as you can see, these flares did not change color in the slightest. It just depends on the material and these are a bit of a sinking material, I guess. Same thing with this jumper. I don't even know what material this is. 
but literally did not change colour one bit. It's like literally so grey. This long knitted roll neck as well didn't change colour at all, which is really annoying. Um, and then the last thing that didn't change colour is this bodysuit. However, all the rest of the stuff did, so let's try it on. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite. It actually might, I'm absolutely obsessed. This is so cute, it's dyed so well. You can't see any stitching or anything, which is absolutely brilliant. I am just so obsessed. This color brown is honestly incredible. Isn't this such a good idea? Like this was literally some old white sweatshirt that I'd worn so much and washed so much it turned gray. Revamp, wardrobe revamp. I tell you that for sure. Like I'm literally obsessed with this. Eee, I love it. Okay, next. Okay, this is the next one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. I didn't like it in the first place. If it dyed the stripes, then I would have absolutely loved it, but with the stripes, I'm just not a fan, not gonna lie. Again, not the biggest fan of this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just don't like the stripes, and I literally bought the top as a striped top. But it turns out I don't like it whatsoever. I mean, it's definitely better brown, as everything always is. Also, sorry I'm so pale, I really need to fake tan like right now. Um, but yeah, not really my vibe, not gonna lie, not my favourite of the bunch. Right, this is the next thing. I mean, if this top fitted properly, it's very like, I don't know if you can see, very big around here. If it fitted properly like this, obsessed, absolutely obsessed, I love it. Again, it's dyed this such a nice colour, like it's a bit different to the other one, but it's more of like a chocolate brown, I'd say. It's just so cute. Second to last thing, this is the jumpsuit. I'm not gonna lie, this was never the most flattering thing in the world, hence why I didn't wear it in the first place. But honey, it definitely looks better brown. What does it? I mean, not the most flattering, but kind of cute, kind of comfy, and so nice just to lounge around the house in, like, absolutely. Again, the dye's taken to this so well. No white stitching again, which is so good. Also, it's dyed really well around here. And I think if I style this out properly, it could actually look really, really, really cute. Like, with, like, the right coat over the top, maybe, like, a hat. This would look so cute, but yeah, this is dyed so well. Okay, last piece of clothing is the jeans. And I'm not gonna lie, so these jeans started off as like acid wash denim and I did not really like them at all very much, literally more than once. Um, they have kind of gone brown, they've kind of gone black. Right, I don't know if you can see properly, um, they definitely are brown. I mean, especially around the knees, like the fraying around the knees has gone so much more brown. They are brown for sure, but it's more of like a acid wash brown. It looks like very vintagey, which I kind of quite like. These jeans did used to be mum jeans, however, now they're skin tight. I mean, we could just say it's from them in the wash, but I don't know if I'd be lying. But anyway, these did actually kind of work and I quite enjoy them. Maybe it'd be better on a lighter pair of jeans and not like such an acid wash, because I mean, they're not bad, they're not bad at all. But yeah, these jeans actually did kind of work. So if you want to have brown jeans and you don't want to pay like 40 pounds, then definitely dye your own. Just be where they might shrink. I mean, they probably won't shrink. I think I have just bought a lot of weight since I've last worn them, but we won't talk about that. Right, so that is the end of the video. I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching if you've got all the way to the end. If you have, let's use the code word brown. Comment down below brown if you've got all the way to the end and thank you so, so, so much if you have. But yeah, as you can see, some of the things were a success, some things were an absolute fail. It does just kind of depend on the material that you are dyeing. But yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can see more videos and definitely turn the post notifications on so you get notified when I next upload because I haven't actually got a schedule at the moment. I'm just uploading as and when. But yeah, I hope you all have a divine day and I'll see you very soon for a new video. Bye!